All right, folks, I'm about to leave again and go to Wolf Teaver, put in, fish around there for a while. If today is somehow worse than yesterday, I'll let y'all know first, I'll have about 12 Ducket Micro Magic for sale, about 15 Shimano reels, and a lot of tackle, and probably even a boat for sale. Probably move it cheap, too, if somehow I catch less than I caught yesterday. But the video also sucked yesterday. I didn't talk very much. It gets hard to watch a video where people are just fishing, so I don't want to put much of that content in there. So, today I'm going to do better in all forms of video making and fishing. So, stay tuned. Alright, we're out here on Chickamauga again. Hopefully I'm going to learn from my mistakes yesterday and actually try to finesse some instead of banging my head against the wall. But I didn't learn too much because I brought the bad luck charm with me again. Hopefully he wore something lucky today, some lucky shoes or something. I know I got my lucky shoes on. I'm going to try to catch a big one on that little sucker today. So let's see what we can do. Oh, I missed it. That was a two pounder. He should have, should have got him. Golly, son of a gun, man. Oh shoot, they're, they're chasing something right here. Finally got one on the full frog. Oh. We just got lucky they came up school and I caught me one. One more and I get to keep all my fishing stuff. Bad luck charm, lost him one. Okay, had another really, really bad day so far. Came back up in Wolf Cheever, just trying to get a daggum bite or two. Fish with a buddy of mine, same one I fished with yesterday, just, I don't know, man. I'm doing something wrong, for sure. I don't know what, I tried to finesse them a lot more today. Try to make them react some. I mean, I just, I just don't know what to do. But, I think I can come back in here and get a few bites. So, plan is, catch three or four to how I, I want to catch. Just a little one, but let my buddy Mike out and I actually had a bite. First bite I've had in a while. This is awful. Look at that little bee spot. Caught more fish than I caught yesterday though. I guess I can keep all my rods. This rod don't play them near as well as the other one I've used does. That's quick. Call another one.
that little fish. Smoke that little square bit. Check out that slab crappie right there, dude. That is a daggum paper plate. Look at that thing. about a four pounder I just lost. Came right off that dang tree, good one. Come on, stay on one time. This is not the normal rod I crank with, that's why I think I lost that one while ago. Digging, dude. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Another one, just like the one I just lost. Hooked outside the mouth. Four pound. Just lost that same exact fish pretty much just a second ago. Beautiful, beautiful fish. These fish up here are so healthy. Finally got me a good one too. This rod that I'm using has the same uh, rating as the other one. It's a, seven, it's a medium cranking. It's got a pretty soft tip, but it's not near as limber as the rod that I normally use for cranking. This is an older one. Before they like, they obviously use a different blank because this is the same thing. And it's just different you could just feel it how different it is so this is a better jerkbait rod in my opinion because it's got a it's a little bit stiffer but it still bends a, a pretty good bit but it's easier to cast and work a jerkbait with this rod in my opinion but that's a good one there should have had two like that in the past like 15 minutes but anyway hopefully catch us another one right here let to finish her off with a chatterbait Like it was a good move. I know the big in me. Check that out. I guess they just all pulled up all of a sudden. Lost a four, caught a four. And that's a three, three, three something probably. Three, 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 four. Awesome. Smoked that chatterbait. How about that? <laughs> Another good one, man. He got a cool tag hole. So he was obviously a keeper. Another good one, man. How about that? Hope the sun ain't blinding, y'all. We're getting away of it. How about that? Another good one smoked the old chatterbait. That's close to three. So in the past like 30 minutes, I've had two threes and two fours bite. Lost one of the fours. That's probably two and three quarters right there. Sorry if the sun is blinding, y'all. All right, we're back at home now. 
Hope the lighting's not too terrible. It's pretty dim out here. It's getting dark. But it was a real bad day for the first 99% of it. I think I have a bad trolling motor battery. And I just got them last week. And then in like 30 minutes, I just started catching them. <laughs> I had two fours and two threes. One wasn't quite three in like 30 minutes and caught another like two pounders during that same time. So just that's how it can switch. And there's people in tournaments who I see like sitting down at like 12 o'clock and it don't take but like literally 20 or 30 minutes to catch four or five fish. So anyways, one thing I did do is I switched. I've been throwing a chatterbait all day. That's the Z-Man Elite. And the blade actually ticks the head. If you hear like a lot of real good chatterbait fishermen, they swear that you have to have one where the blade hits the head. I do the opposite. I like one where the blade doesn't hit the head. So I switched to my one that I normally throw. Ended up catching like four fish on it. And a couple good ones. And then, uh, but I threw that Elite all day. And had caught one little one on it. And I mean, I should have switched a long time ago. Because I knew I didn't like that Elite. But anyways, if you like that video, guys, leave a like. Leave a comment. And subscribe. We're almost at 200 subs as of um, filming this. Might get there by the time this video goes live. Don't know for sure. But hopefully we get it soon.